Hi everybody, today's video is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be showing you what cards to get and not get in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now you don't want to get a card that has one star and zero attack points and zero defense points because it's useless, but it might come in handy, you know, for defense. Yeah. You do want to get this one, even though he doesn't have a lot of stars. Um, <clears throat> he has a special effect that if you attack him, if he's in like both positions, attack or de oh, attack or defense. Um, if you kill him or attack him, you get to summon a random card from your deck. So like, you could like summon like Slifer. And then just win the whole match. You do not want this card. Because it's in a lot of the episodes. But she really does nothing. You really want this one. Even though he doesn't really have a lot of attack points. Defense points. If you keep him on in attack position. Yeah. <clears throat> every turn. every Like every time you have a turn. If you pick him. He, he turns into attack position and then attacks your opponent's life points directly and then you turn him back into defense. Yeah. So I'm not going to be going through my whole deck. Just uh, you would want a card with like that many stars. And before I go, I will show you all the like the best cards in the game. I'm just trying to find them. So these are one of the three. And there's one more. It comes in five pieces. You probably know who he is, but I'm still going to show you. Ugh. Oh, I also, I also have blue eyes. Just to put that out there. Can't find his other pieces. Oh, wait. No, I did. So, two pieces and two pieces. There's one more piece. Yeah, there's one more piece of him, but I just can't find him because I don't want to. So, yeah, that's my video for today. Please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss one of my videos. Bye.